Causal versus acausal systems are important concepts to grasp because systems can, LTI systems or other systems otherwise, can and also be described as whether, the, uh, as whether they are causal or acausal. A causal system is one in which the current output, output depends only on current time and past time. So the output, the Y of T of a, of a causal system is dependent only on whatever the current input signal is uh, or, and or anything that, any signals that happened, any input signals that happened in the past. An acausal system is one that is dependent potentially on current and or past, but also on future. In, uh, future values of the input signal. That may seem a little counterintuitive, and it, it actually sort of is, but let's explain this a bit more. That means that what we're saying for an acausal system is that the output y of t is going to be equal to, you know, among any, some other functions, right? It's part of the component is going to equal x of t plus n, where n is greater than zero. We're reaching into the future of the input signal and basing our current output on that. Now that may seem sort of crazy, and it, it is, right? There's no actual physical realization. You cannot build an acausal system in reality because fundamentally you cannot know what the future value of a signal is, right? That's impossible. But that doesn't prevent us from mathematically writing one down. And there are many types of systems that are actually only describable in an acausal fashion or easier to describe in a causal fashion. And then there are tricks that you can play or manipulations that you can do to convert that acausal system into a causal system. Or in the worst case, you simply have to delay the passing of information into the system and, and treat it like a causal system only by delaying its input so that it can not give you any output until time Time, time away, you know, some time later. You could imagine then, right? We can say here that if this is required, if y of t requires knowing x of t in the future, then, and which is impossible, then we can simply say, well, fine. We're simply not gonna ask for any output of this system until, until some n time, n seconds have elapsed so that this can then be equal to only x of t, right? Because if imagine if we're playing with sort of a linear, if we're, talk, we're talking about a time invariant system, then all we have to do is delay asking the system for any output until n seconds have already elapsed so that we can provide it with x of t, which to the system's perspective is, right, t plus n that it needs to do. So this is a nice property of time invariant systems that lets us deal with a causal system simply by delaying the delaying the operation that we ask it to, that we ask the system to perform right basically waiting until we have enough time right enough signal has come in such that it can perform its operation so its response is going to be delayed always relative to the current time if we were to draw out the transfer function of this right it's actually quite straightforward so Let's say that this is time t equals zero. This is time over here. We're on that time axis. The, a, a causal system might have an impulse function if we're drawing its impulse response function like this, where it's dependent on current and past time. And remember, this is going forward here on the right is past time. Why? Because if we're convolving the impulse function with some u of t signal, then we're gonna slide this across time and it's gonna hit time zero first and it's gonna hit these times plus zero later. So this represents past. This is the response of the system based on past values of the input signal. If to get into an acausal system, we end up having to put power, right? 
dependence on the impulse function here on the left side, such that when the U of T is sliding across, before we're at time zero, it already needs to know the value of the, of the input signal way out in front here, which is basically the future. And that's already gonna help dictate what the output of this LTI of this system is. It's an important distinction. It's, it's, it's good to think about because some systems will be strictly a causal and that can present a fundamental problem because we haven't figured out how to do, you know, we haven't figured out time travel yet. And thus we can't build an a causal system. So you may have to think about either delaying it or figuring out some way to manipulate it so that it becomes causal.